Hey beautiful seekers, oh my god, welcome back to the Existential Shift with Morgaine. I'm so, so happy to have you here. I missed you. I know I was a little bit away. Um, but here I am with your yearlies for 2019. Are we excited for the new year? I know I am. <laughs> 2018 was a lot and we're not gonna delve into it. We've been there, we've experienced, we've grown. Now let's face the new. I'm not saying deny anything. I'm saying take what you need. Release what you no longer need. Come to the New Year's hopeful, joyous. Let's do this together. So this will be a yearly for 2019 for the 13th zodiac, for the collective, for us as humanity. The reading that I will do now will resonate partly, more or less, with humanity, so we all have a part in it. And it will show you what it is that I, that I will be doing for each and every single one of you, for all the zodiac, on my Vimeo. So right after this, you can press the link below that will lead you to my Vimeo and over there you'll have all 12, all 12 signs, all the um, 2019 predictions and energies. Um, and I will do those the same way that I will show you that I'm doing this here now. So this will be free and available for all uh, on my YouTube and for all the Zodiacs go to my Vimeo. Now, I have added a an option that is supposed to be kind of good for those of you who like to watch more placements than just your sun or even more than just your sun and rising uh, the buy all that will allow you to have all 12 videos sun moon rising Venus the works um, and also cross watching um, and that will be in 50% off so I don't know look at this as my holiday gift to you guys. Um, if you're a regular on my channel, welcome back. I love you. If you're a newcomer, welcome to the Existential Shift. Hope you'll choose to join by subscribing. Um, and yeah, we'll get to it in a second. Let's see what else I have to say. Yes, I reopened private readings. Also link below. You can book either an hour or 30 minutes with me. Um, I have two options for those of you who maybe can't afford the full hour. So both are very legitimate. Both we can do a lot in. It's up to you. And the, mm, the January readings will also come, but that will come towards later this month. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to show you the table that I've made. I hope you like it. Oliver is here with us because if he can't be in the background of my reading, then he'll be in the background of my reading. And the amorphous butterfly, that is the symbol of the existential shift. It's a shape-shifting butterfly. It has two sides, the night shapeshifter and the daily survival butterfly. Uh, he was collected after he died naturally. I'm a big uh, advocate for animals, so just making sure you're aware that I will never support hunting or anything of that sort. Okay, so, ha, ah, let's get to it. What do we have here? A lot of fun stuff, right? This is the uh, after tarot. Just like the Rider Waite, only a second after. What happened a second after? I forget the name of this uh, deck, but it's small, beautiful cards with which I will clarify. So there will be 12 cards from this deck, 13 actually, 12 to represent one for each month, and the 13th to represent the whole sum of the year, the conclusion. Each month, each card of those, I will clarify with two of these, one clarifier for love, one clarifier for career. So we'll basically have three cards for each month. And the 13th card, which is the conclusion of the year, it will also be clarified with two of these. 
And also, each of those groups will have one room. Okay? So it's one of those, two of these, and one of one room for um, each month. Times 13. One for each month, and then the 13th conclusion, conclusion. I'm sorry. And then we will finish up with messages from the Akashic Terra and a message from the I Ching. Okay? So this will be basically our reading for 2019. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you like the setup that I made. I think it's super cool. <laughs> Let's put these aside for now until we get to them. And we'll start shuffling. Now, for the 12 um, yearly readings that I will put up on my Vimeo, uh, I will skip the, you know, all this and get straight to the point. So we will start with basically this, the table already set up with all the cards to save us some time. But I will do the same kind of focus and energy work that I do um, in front of you guys, what you always see. Okay, okay, okay. So let's breathe in. I need to breathe in. And let's ask for guidance, clarity, and messages for the collective, for the 13th element. Good start. For January. Ace of Swords is for January. Okay. Let's put these aside for now. So, January 2019 starts off really well. Now, when I say well, we all know it can mean so many things, right? I mean well and sharp. Very sharp, actually. The Ace of Swords is truth. It is very cutting. Not bad cutting, just sharp. And I really, really, really like it for us as a collective for January. It basically says to do what I advise us to do in the beginning. To take what we've learned, right? The air element of the Ace of Swords, of the Swords. And then cut through everything that doesn't serve us anymore and follow through with the conclusions and with the understandings. This shows clarity of mind. This shows accuracy. This shows very um, strategic, fast, non-apologetic action, decision-making, and realizations. It's clarity of mind which God knows we all need, okay? So if you start the year not in that state of mind, put yourself in that state of mind. The Ace of Swords doesn't hesitate. It doesn't do things just out of the gut. It plans, it thinks, it's very strategic, but it, it, it does it fast. It doesn't wait too long. Once it has its, its confirmation, when, once it sees something that is accurate, it just goes for it. But that's because Ace of Swords is a state of mind that you're in that basically shows that you're clear. You know who, what, when, where, and everything aligns accordingly. Excuse me, I want to close the door. There we go. It's more cool. That's better. You guys can't hear it, but I hear like, I'm hypersensitive to everything, most especially sounds and noise. So everything I hear is like, oh, there's a car running the other side of the city. <laughs> anyway, so this is for January and it's, it's fantastic. Now let's clarify. This is the general guidance for everything in January, Ace of Swords. Now let's ask for clarification from the cards from Spirit for my 13th Zodiac, which is the collective that is watching me right now, for love. Let's talk about love. 
from Mr. and Mrs. 13 <laughs> for the month of January 2019. Love for January 2019. Clarify. Ace of Swords and Love. Thank you. I will not be doing reversals unless it's clearly a reversal. Uh, when it falls like sideways, I don't, you know. Okay. Novice of Chalices, which is like the Page of Cups. Have I, sh have I shown you the Ace of Swords? It's really, really, really pretty. You have a hawk here. Hawks are hunters. They're very, very um, goal-oriented. You can see like they do with horses, which I hate, by the way, but it's just to explain the aspect, the essence of it. So they blind them from the side so they don't have a 360 point of view, and it's very, very direct and straightforward. So your sight needs to be very accurate and straightforward, like a hawk. And here we have... Um, the Novice of Chalices, which is the Page of Cups for love. You know, Page of Cups is a very different energy from the Ace of Swords. It's like Pisces. It is loving. It is dreamy. It is fantasy-oriented. It's an initiation of a spark from the heart. But it is also the mythological story of Narcissus from the word narciss narcissism. Now, I'm not saying go be a narcissist, but I am saying, especially with the combination of the Ace of Swords, and, and here she specifically is looking into the cup, like looks at her reflection, so that strengthens for me the archetype of Narcissus of the story. Look into yourself. Look in the mirror with clear sight. With awareness, with truth. Be very, very honest with yourself as to who and what you are, how you feel, what you bring to a potential relationship, either existing or a new one, or to yourself and your notion of love. Start a new state of mind when it comes to matters of the heart. Balance heart and mind. Balance self-love and self-awareness with love and awareness to the other. Now, what is the other? It's a reflection of ourselves. And here she looks at her reflection in the cup. We know thyself, ourselves by knowing the person in front of us, by seeing ourselves reflecting in their eyes. So see how people respond to you when it comes to the matters of the heart. What does it show you about yourself? What kind of awareness does it raise in you? And from there, have a new, what's the word? A new acknowledgement of what you love, how you love, and how you want to love. Let that lead it. You know, they say um, the heart makes the decision, the, ma the mind plans the route to get there. I feel like when it comes to love, that's kind of what January is about for us. Finding the balance between heart and mind. Between fantasy and reality. This is the fantasy world, this is reality. But you know what, Ace of Swords can also relate to fantasy. It's not completely, you know, cold and detached. It's just sharp and real. And fantasy, it's real. It's, been, it's written by us. Now, I know my life is like, <laughs> it's like a fantasy book. Not always good, not always bad. Sometimes a little bit of both. Sometimes a lot of both.
Figure out what is it in your fantasy world of love can be delivered into reality and start making it happen. But only the thing that combines both. I really like this as a message. And the Pisces is like all the 12 zodiacs. His awareness is very, very vast, awareness of existence. Now, of course, it doesn't always come to expression in their daily life or behavior because we're all human, but the essence of it and the aspiration of it, it's there. It's in their essence. So I guess love is supposed to reflect all the aspects of our essence. So seek that, seeker. But start with seeking it within yourself. And she's looking inside the cup. And that sharp realization of how it is that you go about love and how it is that you want to go about love will create events and manifestation in your reality because that's also what the Ace of Swords speaks of. It's like you're sending a hawk, you're sending a message into the universe. You echo out your new heart. Pages are also messengers. I think we don't need to go out too much or be on uh, dating sites or whatever. And again, this is a general reading for the collective. So, you know, take it as a general guidance and, 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 and please go to, um, to watch your specific Zodiac. But I think the essence of this shows that it needs to start with us echoing it properly with balance from our heart and mind before we go with actions, aka trying to actually meet someone, going into places, going on dating sites and all that. So if you're only doing the actions, but it doesn't, it's not clicking in your uh, emotional awareness and your cognitive awareness, then it won't really create the love, the, the love and the life that you're trying to create. To achieve something, you need to be it and then you need to do it. It's not enough just to be, it's not enough just to do. Essence and action. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be long. <laughs> A career message for January complete the message of Ace of Swords. Mrs. and Mr. 13. And my 13th secret. Message for career for January 2019. Ugh. Only one, guys. <laughs> Only one. Okay, thank you. Ten of Swords. These cards are really cool. They're a combination of modern life and Celtic life. Like they connect reincarnations. They show the characters in Celtic times and they show the characters in modern times. So here I'll just show you in this one because we conveniently got one of each. So see here she's like with her like somewhat of a druid outfit, but here she's like in modern day clothes. So Ten of Swords for career with the Ace of Swords. We need to leave behind what no longer serves us, but we need to be very, very, very brute and sharp about that. Because a new start is coming. If you were thinking about having a new start, my 13th seeker, Now's the time to release it, to make room for it. There's only one sword that is yours, that is accurate for you. Drop all the other ten. And if all those tens are in your back, release them. Arch your hand to the back and take them out one by one. And pick one up that is perfect and accurate 
And let that be your Ace of Swords. Apply it as you may to your situation. See card. Mr. and Mrs. 13. I like that. I really like that. Okay. That was January. February 2019 for my secret 13. February 2019 for secret 13. Please, one card that represents February 2019. Okay. Ten of Wands. Oh. Mm. Okay, you guys can remember Ten of Wands and King of Pentacles. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it. The cards obviously wanted to come out like this. So we have two cards for February. Ten of Wands and King of Pentacles for February. <sighs> Whatever notions of right doings and wrong doings have to be released. You cannot achieve, we cannot achieve our best fulfillment while we are really focused on working really hard to, how should I phrase it, to satisfy what it is that we think we should have or what it is that we are used to thinking that we should have. Does that make any sense? We want to prove ourselves. We want to succeed. So we take upon ourselves a lot. But notice the mechanism that is repeating itself here. So in January, we have the Ace of Swords as opposed to the Ten of Swords that needs to be released. Here in this Ten of Wands, we have them both in one, only in the suit of fire. So all the Nine of Wands are on the floor, have to be released, and he only holds one. King of Pentacles is known to be taking a lot upon himself. Now, he can handle it. He's the king of pentacles. The man knows what he's doing. But that doesn't, that's because you know how to do something doesn't mean you need to do something. Doesn't mean you have to do all that. It's the Capricorn. Works hard, works hard, works hard, works hard. Can handle it because very strong until his body no longer can handle it and then everything drops and then what exhaustion and you you don't even know you're getting there because you're so strong so you keep just doing and doing and doing until at one point you just the, the body's like uh i'm done if you do the work in january if you release the ten of swords in january you won't have to get to this because King of Pentacles is Capricorn and also January. It, you know what? February is just like, I think the collective will have a hard time of um, doing, you know, manifesting the message, listening to the message in here. A lot of them are might be carrying it to February. So basically similar. Let's clarify this for love. Love from a 13th seeker. For February. Only one card, please. The strength card, but it came out in the reverse. I want you to see her, how beautiful she is. With ease, she controls the animals of the forest. No harnesses, no leashes, no cages. They come to her out of will. Free will. Now that is power. But it's in the reverse. This can also be a dictator when made wrong. So for very, very few of you. There is a potential fall of a dictator. Now, don't jump to being like, oh, this leader is going to fall. Maybe. But you can also take it to your personal life. It is a reading for the collective, so who knows what will happen globally. This can mean so many things. But on a personal level, this can mean complete release of control. Letting go of the burden of trying to control everything. Opening up to the messages of the universe as if the strength card was in its upright. When the strength card is in its upright, we are very, very in tune with the guidance of the universe. Highly in tune.
and the power is our power is very much um, supported by the universe and by energy but when it's in the reverse we either try to have too much of it or we completely lack it or we're completely lacking of it but it came out in love do not try to control love seeker remember what I said here look within within not without don't um, di di direct your attention or your judgment to the outside aka to someone that you're with direct it within when someone tries to control the other it, 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 it just shows that they can't control themselves so they try to control other things when we lose control of ourselves we try to hold on to controlling other people and in love that's the worst recipe figure out your stuff and what you haven't figured out in January will come with you to February and have its effects so I hope you'll listen to the guidance so it won't kind of follow you up to February great message for career for February please one card to clarify career ten of cups look how pretty it is here it's gonna be a long reading I don't care it's for the entire year I'm gonna do 12 more of those <laughs> okay wholesome wholeness two tens right here release of burdens and of attempts of control see here once he releases all the wands and not tries to control them then the energy surrenders to him see how the bull here surrenders to him when you cooperate with love and harmony and not with control and not with dictating everyone just want to listen to you out of respect and not out of fear group effort for February take it as it applies it can't resonate with all of you once again you're more than welcome to check out your personal yearly um, okay thank you February <laughs> March March 2019 my 13th seeker seeker 13th March 2019. What a poet. <laughs> Message for Secret 13 for March 2019, please. Six of Wands. I love that. Let me show you. And here it's like, hey, Missy. Like in the, in the writer white, white tarot so the crown that he's giving her is on his wand he's like he wants something and now he's giving it to her i think it's very sweet and romantic so march is looking good the all the nine wands that we've released all the ten of swords that we've released all the work on our own ego and on cooperate cooperations have really worked for us and all the wands that we've released and dropped in the ten of wands in february We've picked up the, just a specific few. It's like in February, we have released a lot of people as well. January and February is a lot of releasing. A whole lot of releasing things that don't work for us anymore, that don't serve us. And then in March, I feel like we're going with the accuracy. The accurate partner, the accurate team, the accurate job. And it works. And I like this. I like this a lot 
I also like that we can see my reflection. I think it's cool. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the setup. We wanted to do something special for um, for the yearlies, so I hope you like it. Let's clarify Six of Wands for March for love. Love. Thank you. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Very clear. The moon. Okay. Hmm. I'll think about it while I'm asking because I want to connect it with the Six of Wands. Ask for a message for career. Clarification for career for March. Four of Cups. Okay. So it's interesting because on the surface, everything is great. You did the work. You have your results. You're on the horse, literally. But emotionally, there's a lot of confusion. And doubts. And I kind of like this. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I know it sounds weird, but hear me on, hear me on this one. So, stupid people tend to never doubt themselves when they succeed. That usually what brings their fall. Wise people doubt themselves constantly, even more so when they succeed. This is important to you, this, this achievement, this partnership, this relationship, this means something to you. It's something that you've worked hard for, that you've earned with Six of Wands. And I guess it's also very, very deep, very meaningful because it stirs up a lot of things in your subconscious and your psyche. And I guess it also touches something very accurate in you because the moon is illuminated. Your, your higher self and your inner self and your deeper self are really, really powerful and they're, they're speaking loud and you hear it. And it can be confusing and overwhelming in March, okay? If you don't relate to this now, don't worry. You're not supposed to. And it affects you deeply and it causes you doubts. And I see it affecting your love life and your career and work. And some of you are so madly in love here that you just can't focus on anything else other than that. <laughs> Especially because I have the Ten of Cups in February. And I already have three tens. Something serious is ending around January. It could be a state of mind. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a relationship that clears room for something new. But it could be a state of mind. This could, this January through March thing that I see here could be like, Okay, like a relationship, a, a very deep soulmate or a twin flame or a karmic, whatever you want to call that. But the essence of going through a lot of things together, a lot of spiritual lessons together and a lot of pain, but also a lot of clarity and gaining knowledge. So that cycle is ending. Now there's sort of kind of healing like in February, like going between this and that. And then there's like really deep union or just stepping up in the type of the connection. Or maybe you're releasing one type of partner that is like that to make room for a new one. But this is a process. I see here the three tens in January that make room and you know the the um, Novice of Chalices, the Page of Cups is also a representation of um, uh, March. And I have here the Moon card that can also represent Pisces which is March. So I, I see a direct connection. I see like a continuum.
this is an energetic and uh, spiritual evolution of something that has existed in a certain level in your life for a long time, but is now gaining a different... It goes through a metamorphosa, and it's different, better, deeper, and it's scary, but it's also inspiring and fun and exciting. So, and I, I kind of see it really affecting your entire life, almost like you could be super successful in your career. You can be a spiritual guru. You can be a healer. Maybe that's why it's so watery. And you're successful and people follow you. That's one little aspect of you. But for a lot of you, even if you are succeeding and doing really, really well, your mind and heart are very much into a certain connection. Unless your job is something that you have that gives you a lot of inspiration, and that it's like a mission that you take it as a mission. Um, so that could be your work then, in that case. All right. Let's keep going. How far along are we on time? 36? Okay. All right. I hope this doesn't last two hours. It won't. Now that I got the hang of it, because uh, this is the first time I'm doing this reading. So, okay. April. 2019 for secret 13. April 2019 for secret you want? Okay. Ah, yay. This is great. The sun. And after, like in, in the right away, we have one kid, and then here, I guess it's another kid coming along. We had the moon in March. So some of you ladies might be pregnant or getting pregnant or even giving birth. So it's very fertile time, March, April, moon and the sun, yep. So if you don't want to conceive, be careful. And if you want to conceive, it's a good time to do it. Now, yeah, it could be a project or something that is, um, that you're giving birth to, but it's very, very bright and very successful. There's a lot of recognition. And the moon and the sun, oh wow, it's very yin and yang. All of the work that we've done that we've done in the first two months that were like, you know, uh, letting it's it's like the, the, the leftovers of 2018. Actually of some of for some of us 10 years of 10 years because I have three tens here. So all the karmic release all that cycle that we've released. Now we're starting to really enjoy it, but of course it was so deep and intense, so we're carrying it with us and that can cause confusion. The moon and the sun together, it's a psychological confusion. So stay on top of things, seeker. Stay on top of it. It's good, it's looking good, but you have to be very precise with yourself and don't go to the Four of Cups of the doubts. If someone gives you an offer around this time, please accept it because it's looking good. Yes, you have your fears and your concerns, but this shows me that you can balance. This is the sun and the moon. It's yin and yang. It's perfect balance. When you know how to work with these forces, they're very powerful forces. When we, we, With power comes great responsibility. That's why we don't get so much awareness at once right off the beginning, right in the beginning. We have to go through a lot to gain awareness and knowledge. But by going through a lot, we also gain a lot of strength. Strength, So we can handle it, this knowledge, by the time it comes. So March, April, is, it's, it's this time where knowledge comes and you're processing it. You've already been processing. You've already been processing. But now things really come to light. Like there's the new you is really emerging. I like this. Okay, let's clarify the sun for love for April. Love for April. No, not too. I can't. Too long. There we go. Oh, amazing, amazing. Initiative cups. So we started the year with novice of cups with a page and now we're in initiative cups. 
This is like Knight of Cups, for example. So this is a step up. This is growth. Now we've we've done through we, we went through the soul searching and the understanding. And now we can, you know, lift our head up and look into their eyes. See here she's looking down to the picnic um, blanket. Here she's looking up to the moon inside. The cups is the inner world. But on the surface on Mars, there's already either an, an initiation of a union or already a, a union or something like this. Or something that has existed in your life and now is getting through the next phase. But it doesn't exactly sink to you that it's real. But in April, you're like, yeah, it's real. Yep, it's real. Now I have here one, and then 19 is also one. So I feel like it's something that has been going through at least since January that kind of culminates. And April, when it comes to love, my 13th seeker is looking lovely. Whatever offers you're receiving here, whatever is happening, it's very truthful and very on the surface. If things were a little bit unclear up until March, but April, things seem very, very clear. In a good way. There's clarity. I like that. Clarity of the heart. Clarify career, please. Thank you. Another Ace of Swords. Speaking of connection between the one of the Ace of Swords and the 19 of the Sun. Okay, whatever it is that you have initiated in January, January 2019, by the way, right? Just in case. <laughs> that you will initiate in January, and now we're jumping to April. It will be very relevant. If this here was the general guidance for January, and now it's precise for the career. Remember we had the Ace of Swords for career? You have, by April, you have cleared that shit. Excuse my language. You've done really well. Now your business is really on its track. Or you've really proven yourself at work. Or the project that you've um, started working on or tried to manifest is, you know, loud and clear that it's good, that it works. I feel many of us by April are really being finally aligned on our path because that's what 2018 was about. All these planetary aspects, all these retrograde. It's like, hey humanity, so you're on this path, but we kind of need you to be on this path. You went a little bit astray with all this free choice of yours and you didn't really do what your higher self wanted you to do, blah, blah, blah. So let's give you all tons of retrogrades and planetary aspects and a lot of energy to drive you crazy um, so you can't escape it and then you'll just have to go to your path. Oh, and now you're getting here. Yay, great. Now, so the journey was, uh, 2018 was like, uh, uh, how do I survive this? Um, but this is really... This was like the releasing of the um, leftovers of 2018, and now we're starting 2019. 19, the sun. Now, hey, life is complicated. Nothing is ever perfect. But the energy is more supportive. We've cleared a lot as a collective, each and every single one of us. So, of course, free choice still comes to effect. And you can mess it up or you can make magic out of it. It's up to you. But the energy is so much more supportive. And if you've done the work in the first quarter of the year, bam. Hi, April. I like this very, very much. May 2019th for Seeker 13. Not taking two. Just one, please. 
May 2019 for Super 13. One card, please. May 2019 for Super 13. Ten of Cups peaked, just so you'll know. Just say, because it's fun. But we need to be very accurate. Not go astray, especially now. Especially when we're doing so well. Right? And I believe May is when Uranus is coming back into Taurus, if I'm not mistaken. Whew! Alright. One card, please, to represent the month of May 2019. For the collective that is watching. Wow, that was okay. Hi, kids. Anyone is having kids? Yeah. So, of course, not all of you are going to give birth or get pregnant. But for those of you who are planning and have something going on around March, April, I think you're going to go about it. But May is Six of Cups. We have two kids here and we have two kids here. I just want to light up my Palo Santo. Which means holy wood. It's for uh, good vibes. So interesting. So Six of Cups is about nostalgia and going back and reminiscing. It could be a repetitive relationship, it could be someone from your past, it could be going back to childhood home, it could be many things. But the theme here is the past, something from the past, someone from the past. But in May, in April, I'm sorry, I have these two little ones, and here they grow, they're bigger here. Here they're toddlers, and here they're already kids. So this is chronologically going forward. Allow my mind to do it. its works for a second, please. There is something here. Clarify for love, then I'll know the connection. Three of Cups with the Six of Cups for love for 2019, for May 2019. Now career, please. The star, beautiful. So in case you want to see them. Three of Cups is message for love. And the star card message for career. Okay, 2019 is all about inspiration and working from the heart, which I absolutely love. It means that a lot of us as a collective are going towards the thing that inspires us and inspires others. We're doing the work that we're supposed to do that our higher self is guiding us to do in this lifetime for career as well. So Okay, this is coming up, probably relevant for a few of you, definitely not for all of you. Some of you are writing a book. It's about inspiration that from your life, from your life experience, from your childhood, from your friends, from your experiences. It's like suddenly everything comes together. All the stories, all the homes, all the relationships. And it comes to you as this very specific idea. Some of you are taking a trip with family members or friends or towards family members, towards a place from your past. Maybe you're visiting a childhood home. Some of you for inspiration, for those of you who are writers, or you're writing about it, 
maybe about your childhood. I know this is relevant for just a few of you, so yeah. Um, some of you who are in a relationship, maybe someone from your past is coming back. Um, I'm not screaming third party. No, not at all. What I am saying is either something to resolve in order for you to continue with the relationship that you are in throughout May. Or something to be re-inspired by in your personal life to take with you, but not necessarily as, you know, leaving. It doesn't have to be like a third party situation where you're leaving someone for them. It could be, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm giving a reading for a collective, which is why I can't say it in certainty. If someone specific were, were to sit in front of me, if this was a private reading, then I would ask them questions and I would clarify it more. I can't do it here because it won't be relevant. So I'm giving you all the narratives. But mostly I see here inspiration to create something. Some of you are traveling to countryside or to nature just to be able to have inspiration or rest or maybe you're going for work but it's work that brings you back somewhere that you know listen this is may 2019 this is five six months from now so bear with me if you don't know what i'm talking about you're not supposed to here's the thing once you'll have your uh your own zodiacs um reading for 2019 go back to it every month and see the messages, how they resonate, how they relate. Mm. But May is beautiful. I think some of us will be, will have something that comes back to us from the past that will su suddenly click different, we'll understand it. Some of you, it will happen through a social gathering, maybe of family members or friends from childhood someone will say something about something that has happened or someone in your life and you're like wait what i didn't know that or oh that makes sense now i understand what you know something like yeah it's something from the past that inspires us for the future, both love and work. It's something very inner that affects all of our lives, so it will affect it. love and career. Interesting. Okay. Can't wait for each one of these months months to unfold to see. You know, June. June 2019 for my secret 13. The world, wow guys, it's just getting better and better. I, okay, this is just the first six months of 2019, but this is major completion. And we go from 19 to 21. I'm skipping the six because these are major little kind of, so I'm treating that. We have the star. The moon, the sun, 17, 18, 19. The world is major success. The world is traveling. The, the world is completion. The world is soulmate. This three, three combination for the second quarter um, of 2019 shows me soulmate union, soulmate twin flame, however you want to refer to it, whatever, whatever is relevant in your life no longer karmic i feel like a lot of us have released karma and again it's a collective can't speak for the majority of us but for most of us we've done the work so second quarter shows me soulmate union shows me success and accuracy in work and in career now this can also mean now i know what i don't want to do now i'm releasing it now i'm going on a new path so this can require work but it's really, really inspired by your heart and by your higher self. So you're in the right direction. 
wherever you, you are at or going towards between May to June, it's what you're supposed to be going towards. It's what you're supposed to be doing. You're finally tapped and aligned. Let's clarify the world for June for love. World for June, the world card, thank you. Elder of Wands, a.k.a. King of Wands. Fire element. With the world. So, something from April. So, some of you are still in the union from whatever it is that has culminated throughout March and April. King of Wands is anywhere between March 20th to April 20th. The thing that represents um, Aries, the time of Aries. So some of you are traveling with a fire sign or for a fire sign. Some of you are just achieving completion with a fire sign. When I say fire sign, because, especially because it's a general reading, this doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, although this is what it can represent. But this can be someone who is representative of the fire element in your life and who's a fire character that is similar to those zodiacs, okay? So don't take it as it has to be a fire sign. But it's someone that is very mature and passionate. It's not like um, a novice of fire. It's not like a child or someone who just wants to have fun. This is the, the mature, warm, life-giving and maintaining aspect of fire. And here we have all the elements in the world card. We have the wand, fire, the cups, water, the swords, air, the earth, er, uh, the, the coin, earth, the pentacle. And here is holding the wand. So this is the general for June, right? So when it comes to love, the fire element is really completed and expressed. So a lot of passion as well. And interestingly enough, here he has this this fire and smoke coming out of it. And he's holding a book of knowledge and he's smiling and a wand towards this, the heavens. And then here the clouds in the sky are above and she's like surrounded with this, um, oh, Boa says it? No, not in here specifically. It's almost like a, a love connection that is supported both by your inner fire an inner will, either be new one or old one, but also supported by the universal energy, the universal spirit, anima mundi, and your higher self, which is why it's finally able to achieve completion and union, because it matches, your will matches the universal will, your um, personal self wish matches the wishes of your higher self of your soul and your soul path and that's when thing when things like that align like that when things align like that that's when things can actually happen because when we want things that are different than what our soul wants um when our life path is astray from the path of the collective of the anima mundi then things don't work out But when our shoe matches our feet and we're walking in the specific road that leads to the specific location we want to go to, then things get much easier and feel so much wholesome, so much more wholesome. This is, okay, this, this part of 2019, the second quarter, April, May, June, is really looking lovely. Let's clarify career for June for the world for my secret 13. March 2019, secret 13, career. Required to clarify career, please. Okay. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Now, Nine of Swords in the reverse is good. It means that concerns are off, but we went a little bit backwards. We had in January 10 of Swords, and now we have the Nine of Swords. So what is it that we were supposed to completely release and let go of? 
that we are carrying still with us a little bit to June that affects us now. It's no longer painful. Something that was maybe very painful when it was upright and connected to the Ten of Swords is no longer painful because it's in the reverse. A certain concern. Now here we're talking about career. A certain concern that you had for a really long time that you've been carrying with you is being released. And making room for something new. This could, this could be something with immigration. We spoke of traveling, right? So some of you are either leaving a place to like, okay, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm going back to where I come from, or I'm leaving. Or some of you are just fixing a situation that has to do with paperwork or immigration. Um, therefore, the concerns are lifted. The swords are you're no, you're no longer in agony from that. Either way, this is good. This could be dramatic a little bit, but good. One hell of a first six months, huh, guys? <laughs> Let's go to July 2019 for my secret 13. July 2019 for secret 13. One card, please. For July 2019 for my secret 13. Nah, that's way too much. Oh. Did I drink from my tea? I'll get to the runes. Don't worry. <laughs> July 2019 for my secret 13. Guys, the um, the Vimeo reading will, will not be this long because I will do all this shuffling of all of it from advance and you'll have to trust me for those of you who know me for a while that I will focus and do it properly. I will have the after tarot aligned and reverse, so we will um, we will open it. We will unveil it together. I'm not going to look at them. We will unveil it together. We will unveil the clarifiers together, and then the runes together. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> but the shuffling aspect of it won't um, will be there. Okay, clean, clean, clean. July 2019. For secret 13. Show me July 2019 for secret 13. Mm, okay, those of you that are curious, I got the King of Wands and the Seven of Swords, but I'm not taking two cards. Oh, this, okay, it wants to be here. King of Wands was here in June, so whoever is with you this um, fire element in June, April, March through June, actually. well maybe before that but maybe you want to get, I don't know. Whoever this King of Wands is still very much relevant to July. So this is serious. Let's see what happens with that. I just remember that it came out but one card please. July 2019 for Secret 13. Mm. July 2019 Secret 13. The strength and la-di-da, now it's in its upright. I love this that in here in the after tower where she's hugging the lion. So, in February, we had it in reverse, but we did the work. 
We did the work and we really gained our strength. July is looking amazing. Remember what I said about how the inner will with the universal will, once they match, then, then we can really succeed and the, our walk is easy? Now we've really attained that ability and that knowledge. We are hugging our own instincts and inner will, our truth. And it's hugging us right back because we know what we're doing now. Fire element is very, very strong. I have here the sun, king of wands, strength. <laughs> Hi, magician. but we're not in August yet. But he came out, we'll just let him, like visitor. He came out basically to say, and here, you, you know, it's very similar to the world card because you also have all the elements in, our, in this card. And he has all the elements and we'll be speaking on union. Yeah, this is, when we unite within ourselves, when we balance the elements within ourselves, when we balance between our uh, the will of our personality with the will of our higher self and of our soul, higher self is, I'll take it as the soul, that's when, you know, that's when magic happens. When things just work. We want something, we do it, it works out. Want, do, it works out. Want, do, it works out. <clears throat> That's the strength card. It's manifesting with ease. It's not even the, like, the magician manifests with active will. The strength card manifests with passive will. She's not putting any force in order to tame the lion. She's not, she doesn't have to put force into taming herself. She doesn't have to put force into taming the others. She doesn't have to put force into taming the universe. Not that you can't. She just is herself. She is the lion. She is the universe. She is part of it. Therefore, everything is just aligned. That takes a lot of, a lot of growth to attain within the self. It is the story of the white magic versus the black magic. And when I say white and black, I don't mean like good and bad archetype. I mean like the passive manifestation versus the active manifestation. Active manifestation. Normally, it goes by going through learning how to be a magician when it comes to creating our life. And then when we already know how to do something, it comes to us easy. It's like muscle memory, right? Like I train martial arts, so I need to do the same movement again and again and again and again. And I put an active force into doing that. I think about it. I move. I train. But then at one point, it becomes my nature. And I no longer have to think about the movement or, you know, force it or be or put strength into it it just my body just does it <laughs> and attaining this strength aspect it's a big deal there's a reason why the magician wanted to, to pop up it wanted me to speak about that aspect for us in july those of you who are watching me my 13th seeker you can be at any zodiac but you're a mastermind. Look at what you have here. The world is trained and supported by the magician. Look at this reading. I'm very proud of you. Seriously. Okay. Let's keep going. What's going on here? 
please clarify one card. Okay, let's. This is getting too long. Let's do it. Um, let's clarify July love. One card for love, please. Mm -hmm. Love for July twenty thirteen for secret thirteen. Love for July twenty nineteen. There we go. The hangman. Especially when it comes with a strength card. There's a need to endure, to be patient, to play a game. There's a certain mutual cause or a personal cause that needs to be attained, but needs to either be weighted out or still, or, or just, you know, sitting it out but having faith. Like, there's not much you can do by now. You've done all the work in the first six months. By July, when it comes to love, or something that is affected by by love, there needs to be patience and some sort of sacrifice. Card for career. Oh, that oops. Yeah, okay. That's too much. The Hierophant with the Strength Guard. So very strong maturity and awareness. There's working with the system and not against the system. Especially if I have it next to the hangman, there's a need of, how should I say it? Just be the perfect example, be the best employee. Do the work that needs to be done. with endurance and maturity and patience. One second. Mm. Sorry. And yeah, don't it's it's not it's not something bad, by the way. It's just something that requires your wisdom and, you know, being the bigger person. And it will make sense to you later on. Whatever this in July. Come back to this reading if you really resonate with this. Watch it in July. <laughs> and comment and let me know what it is. I really wish you guys will come back to this reading every month. And then tell me, hey, you know how in March we have this, so this is what is happening, and this is how it speaks to me. I would really, really like that. And if you can do that also on my Vimeo, that will be even greater. <laughs> I just, I want to know. And I want to communicate with you guys. Okay. This is still looking good. It's just, now you're, it's, it's sort of a test, I would say, to see if, Okay, everything you've learned, everything you've gained, now can you man maintain it? Let's see if your strength, your, if you still have your strength and patience that you worked so hard for. Also, for some of you, this is something to do with the uh, establishment of some sort. It could be an organization or um, a system that you're working with. And there is positivity. The strength and the hierophant are very positive. But with the... Uh, the hangman, there's a need to be patient and wise and better be happy than right. <laughs> Wait it out, whatever it is. Show endurance, mostly emotional endurance. It's, it's something interesting, so please get back to me on that one in July. Okay, August. Oh, maybe it's immigration paperwork? Ooh, for those of you. Maybe you got married, and now you need to wait for, ah. ah, could be so many things. All right, August, please, August 2019 for my secret 13, August 2019 for secret 13. I want to give it a flow, so I'm going to do all August through December, and I'm going to keep them facing down, and then I'm going to and I do the same with clarifiers. Okay, this is August. 
September 2019, please for secret 13. September 2019 for secret 13. Great. I really love these cards. I'm really I really enjoy working with them. October 2019 for secret 13. Oh, I said I'm not going to do reversals. and I, I, I'm doing reversals in the clarifications, but not in the monthly ones. November 2019. Oh, okay, that was fast. Great. December 2019 for Secret 13. December 2019 for Secret 13. Last card, please. Okay. Yearly, the year 2019. One card, please, to show the conclusion. Well, everything adds up to 2019. Awesome. And we'll wait for us patiently here. <laughs> Now, ooh, clarified. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just want to help. I want to help you guys. Not like I don't want it to take too long. I want you to be able to move on to what it is that you want to do. Um, it needs to have a reasonable time frame. So I'll do like I'm going to do it in the Vimeo ones. So love for. August. Clarify love for August 2019. I'm not going to show you. Do I like what I saw? <laughs> and career for August 2019. Guys, the card arts are very accurate and we will receive exactly the messages that we need to receive. Trust me. All the lines. August career. Love for September. I have too many cards. One card, please. <laughs> Thanks. Career for September. Ooh, that was fast. Thank you. Love for uh, October. Career for October. Also, aren't they aren't they beautiful? Okay, focus. Love for November 2019, please. For my secret 13, clarifier for love. Hmm. Yeah. I like it, but it's too many cards. It was eight of wands. Okay, love. It needs to come out, comes out. Career for November 2019. My secret 13. Career, clarify for career for November. Thank you. That was love, I guess, <laughs> for December. And career for December. Okay. Hmm. Conclude love for me for the year 2019. Conclude love for me. For secret 13 for 2019. One card. Thank you. I, I didn't look. And career to conclude 2019. One card to conclude career for 2019. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you guys are ready? Born ready? August. Knight of Pentacles. Love, Two of Cups. 
career ace of wands beautiful okay so something really practical either an offer an opportunity an action that is very very stable and certain with longevity with potential for longevity when it comes to love something that has to do with equal communication balanced communication could be mutual resources right combining mutual resources could be um, moving in together could be uh, taking a trip together could be buying a car together it's something with earthly elements to it, so it could be financial, but it could be just an aspect of what we want together. And there is an equal give and take and an equal point of view, and there's an alignment. So it's very, very pretty actually. It's something, so this is, if this is an established relationship, so you're, you're, you're either going to the next level, you're beginning a new stage, or you're initiating something new. Maybe you're getting a new place. Maybe if you've been together, now you're moving in together. Maybe if you've been living together, maybe now it's a proposal, and so on. Okay, maybe, it, it literally can be buying a car together, <laughs> whatever. Career, Ace of Wands. So, a very um, interesting opportunity that some of you will consider investing. This could be an investment in an idea or in a passion. It could be a start of something. Maybe someone wants to invest in your idea. Maybe you want to invest in someone else's creative idea. It's very creative, the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is very passionate and happens very fast, but the Knight of Pentacles gives it a lot of stability and sense of, okay, this can work for the long term. So I like this. This is... Um, making money off of a passion going off on something like that that seems to have a very good positive start so this could be a new project or a new initiation so august is looking pretty hot mm. let's see september two of wands Oh, I love that. Okay, so whatever it is that you decided to cooperate, that someone offered you to do together, or you've offered them to do together, now you're actually going about it in September. So this is a great continuation of August. This could be wanting to study something new. Maybe in your career you want to evolve and study something new. If you're young, maybe you decide to um, take a certain class or sign up for college. Love, Initiate of Wands, which is like the Page of Wands in the reverse. And Career for September, Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, I like this. When they come in the reverse, especially when it's supported by the background of the Two of Wands and it's upright, so whatever was immature or unclear in your relationship, this page of wands in relationship and it's upright it's mostly adventurous very lighthearted, not very serious but now this attitude is really shifting and reversing to something very very mature and clear that wants to cooperate and have a very clear offer towards each other see how here it's like a child being in reverse reversed and here is standing upright it's like yeah I know what I want with you so this could be a great relationship that is finally, you know, getting to a mature phase. Now, Two of Wands is, um, is a card of beginnings, but this is a very positive beginning with the longevity. This could be someone, for those of you who have been waiting for someone for a really long time, and maybe they were in and out or kind of not serious or a little bit flaky. The Four of Swords in the reverse shows that you're not waiting anymore. And this is when it comes to love. But when it comes to career, if you've been thinking a long time what it is that you want to do in the future or whatever new career you want to embark on or whatever you want to study in college, now the waiting is over. You know what you want and you're going at it in September. So those of you who are confused and are going through the process, it will happen here. 
Now this has been a time frame of a great completion. I wonder what new adventures are starting around August, September. Okay. October, Urgh, five of pentacles. Have no fear, my dear seeker. Love, three of swords, I. Career, five of cups in the reverse. Yeah, no, this is not fun. I'm not going to lie to you. Someone may have screwed up an opportunity that seemed amazing here. And now there's a heartache. Some of you will be leaving someone or will be left by someone. Please remember, this is an example reading for a collective for 13th element. Before you freak out, watch your own zodiac. And if you watch your zodiac there and something is unpleasant, don't freak out. There's free choice and you can come to a private reading and take it as advice and guidance. But here's what I like. When I have the five of cups in the reverse next to all this, this means that you guys don't dwell. Whatever this five of pentacles, three of swords is, there's no dwelling. I'm not going to be in this, pain in this, ponder, wander, yonder, drown in this. Also, by the way, and this is a completely different narrative, which is very much relevant to this combination, Five of Pentacles speaks of going through the hard times together no matter what and here you have two people that are not doing the five of cups they're working through something maybe one of you when it comes to love will experience a certain heartache but you will be deeply and strongly supported by your partner or by a very good friend that will go through this with you and that's fantastic And when it comes to career, especially if I connect this to this, maybe a loss is needed in order to make room for this new journey that you start, that you decided to go about. Maybe some of you, and this is another uh, narrative, in September decided to leave either a home or an organization or a job in order to have a new start at a new place or with someone else. And that created a lot of heartache and loss and whatever it is that you need to leave. Maybe you're no longer supported by either your parents or something like that. Maybe it's going through a growth process. I see a teenager here or a young 20-year-old, uh, 20-something 20 embarking on their new adventure. And now they have to, you know, support themselves. So money-wise, it's a little bit hard and they're feeling a little bit far away from home after they embark on this new journey. But you know what? Stick through this. You've done good. Keep going. It's hard. No one says it was easy. No, nobody said it was easy. Right? November. Page of Wands, which leads to December, because Page of Wands could be December. And we had it here in the reverse. So whatever was in the reverse... Now is lifting his chin up and doing what it needs to do. Love. Oh, Novus of Pentacles, like a page of pentacles. Okay, I like this. And career, we have element of cups in the reverse. Okay, so in November, you're becoming practical. The, the guideline, the Page of Wands, isn't the most practical character. It's very adventurous, very communicative, very artistic. Uh, it's mutable fire. Supported by mutable earth. Page of Pentacles. And the element of water is in the reverse. So mutable fire, mutable earth, and no water. Okay, we're getting into business. We're getting into, okay, 
allow having the strength to allow ourselves to know what we want and how we want to do it and putting our let's say fantasy realm a little bit in the background to actually allow us to achieve a more proper reality for ourselves This is actually very interesting what I'm seeing here with the element, the mutable fire, mutable earth, and then the water kind of spilling. It's like taking control over what it is that we want, allowing ourselves to shift and to explore, and then harnessing, like closing the tap and being like, I just need to do what I need to do, and I can't drown in whatever this is or overthink about everything else in my life. This is kind of a maturity. So for this person that this speaks to, for this person that <coughs> is leaving the house, growing, growing up, moving out, going to college, taking an adventure, traveling, yeah, this growth journey isn't easy, but it's going to be very inspiring. And you will find yourself. It's, 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 a, it's a journey for self-discovery. It's like stepping out of the fantasy world of how we had it growing up and what it is that we thought we always wanted and how it is that we've saw we've seen this adventure and, and stepping into the reality of it and living it proud proudly and pridely. Interesting. December 2019. Ah, the Ace of Cups. Look how pretty it is. I love, 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 love. This is the 12th card. Ha ah. Yes. Ace of Cups, good. So that was for the career, because I remember because it flipped. Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Eight of Swords in its upright for love. Two of Wands in the reverse for career. Now. No, no, no. This is really great. Because I have the Ace of Cups to support what I'm seeing. So you are no longer up and about traveling, hiking, taking adventures, seeking new found freedom. The two of wands and its upright is here and it's very strong and you're, th you're together through thick and thin here. Even if you're going through challenges and miscommunication and the past coming up and even if the mutable energy in you wants to explore, you're sticking through it because love conquers your childhood aspects, your childish aspects, I'm sorry. And the two of you are sticking through it. You're like, Okay, I guess we have to we have to be together. Not have to like force, but like it's like no matter what happens, we can't see ourselves detaching from each other. No matter the circumstances, no matter the system. <laughs> Love is real. You guys are sticking together. You might not know this person. Maybe you know this person now and you're going through the union through 2019. Maybe it's someone new. But either way, I feel like this is the real deal because look at how we're ending. The world and the Ace of Cups. And here we had the element of water in the reverse in December. So there was challenges. Oh, in November, so there was challenges. Okay. But look towards December. This is also Sagittarius towards the month of December. The element of water, represented by the Ace of Cups, is all up and about. And even you can't ruin it. <laughs> I'm not saying it's, I don't know, I don't remember who said that, but even you can't ruin it. Even your childhood can't ruin it. Even your fears can't ruin it. Even your mutable changing aspects can't ruin it it's love it's soul it's union it's here to stay in 2019 yay ah oh my god judgment i could not this is a classic judgment is the 13th card for my 13th seeker for 2019 Oh my God, I am justice and eight of wands. Justice for love, eight of wands for career. Guys, okay. So justice with the judgment when it comes to love. 
So those of you who are getting married and you have the whole visa thing going on because you, you're either an immigrant or you want to migrate together or uh, maybe you're in, from a different country and you're marrying someone from a different country and you're, you know, you're working on the paperwork, whatever. So this resonates with you because the justice and the judgment, there is a conclusion. There is, it's, it could be literal, the justice system with judgment. It could be a literal judgment. And it's positive because it's right next to the eight of wands and love wins in December and there's completion and with the world card right underneath it. Yay. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm happy for you. For those of you that this is not relevant, so when it comes to love, there's a very clear decision of your soul. What I want, how I want, no more playing. Whatever will be there in 2019, it's the real deal. Your soul has no room and no energy for games, for karmic uh, relationships and stuff. <laughs> it wants the real thing and it's ready to do what it needs to do to get there. 19, 20, 21, the sun, judgment, and the world. Fantastic. So the second quarter of it will be very meaningful. Hmm. Judgment, justice, and the eight of wands. Eight of wands in career. Success. Eight of Wands is the, all the opportunities that you've worked on, that you've worked on, you've succeeded in, that you've completed, that you were patient for. Things will happen. Opportunities will come. They will present themselves to you. All you have to do is say yes and do the work. People will offer you things, will call you up and be like, hey, can you do this? Hey, you want to do this? Hey, I want to offer you this. Justice with love. It's, you know, your soul is like, your heart needs to be light as a feather. The justice card speaks about, you know, who you meet when you're crossing between the world, speaking of with judgment. And you're being asked, you're, you know, there's the character with the scales. And it puts one feather on one scale and then it puts your heart on the other one. And if the heart is heavier than the scale, so you didn't make it through, you can't make it through the gates, you have more to learn, more to release, go back to, the, to another lifetime. Live it again. Learn it again. Do it again. But if your heart is, is lighter than the feather, if it's on the same level, the feather goes down. You've made it through the port. You know, you made it through the portals towards heaven. You are a part of divine light. Good job. Twenty nineteen is a big deal for you, Secret Thirteen. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I did not know this will be so long. I guess I went over and over and I got too excited with all of the cards and all the clarifications and everything. So what I'm going to do, which will not reflect to the, um, to the ones on Vimeo. On Vimeo, we'll have one rune for each month. But now I'm just going to do one rune for the year so you'll understand what I do with runes. Actually, I'll take out three runes. A conclusion. One rune is a conclusion for 2019. One rune for love and one room for career. Just because I want you to see what's gonna be um, on Vimeo, on your specific zodiac, but I also we have to cut this shorter and I wanna make it to the Oracle. So please, Spirit Runes. One room for 2019 for Secret 13. Room for 2019 for Secret 13. Fantastic. Fehu. I will explain in a second. Rune for love for 2019 for Secret 13. Now these in the reverse. Rune for career. For 2019, for secret, thir for secret 13, room for career. Sowilo. Wow, okay. Fehu is the property 
it's the cow, it's the cattle, it's the home, it's the money, it's the stability, it's the legacy, it's the family, and it's and it is in its upright. And when I connected with judgment, so knowledge comes back to us from our ancestors. You might discover some new thing. The thing maybe it's relevant to um, to May. What you're discovering about your childhood or about your family origins. This could be reincarnations. This could be understanding your your soul path from the past and where you're supposed to go with it. This can also be creating the stability in your life, achieving the stability, being on your earth element in 2019, knowing where you live, where you what you want to do. This connects and resonates beautifully. Now this, now this in the reverse for love. Lesson learned. Karmic released. This is the end of the bridge between the worlds that takes us between our karmic life, sorry, our karmic life, and our tabula rasa, clean slate life. Real free choice. But it's the last hurdle. The justice you will be tested is your heart pure do you love this woman do you love this man is this real your love will be tested you will be looked at and it's good you know prove prove you're worthy prove it's real Sawilo with the Eight of Wands for career. Major success, guys. Career is looking good. Money is looking good, especially next to Febu. Even love is looking good. Once you're done with this lesson, now you guys can really build a life together. You'll have the money to do it with the success. Again, general readings, secret 13th. Let me know. Come back to me at the end of December. Write down what it was, you know. Comment each, comment each month. So we do fail and we'll do some reverse. You passed the test. So there's 12 months to go, right? But it seems like you have been or you're about to. Because the judgment for the justice is eight of wands. This is success. This is protection. This is light. This is the sun. So we know is sun. S F N in case it's relevant. <clears throat> wow. And then they're upright. I'm not worried about this. Yeah, you might be tested by the justice system when it comes to your love, uh, in case your the immigration thing uh, is relevant to you. But just prove the truth, you know. So you'll be good. You'll be good. And this, if this is not an immigration thing, then you need to prove that your love is pure and true in order to be receiving the opportunity of building a very stable life together. Your soul really wants you to pass this test, this test to secret. It really does. Hell, I want you to. Let me know that you have. One message from the Akashic Tarot for the 2019 for Secret 13, please. One message from the Akashic Tarot. Thank you. One message from the I Ching for 2019 for Secret 13. One message from the Yi Ching, the 2019, the 
one message from the I Ching for 2019 for Secret Eating. Awesome. Sorry, I like it pretty. <laughs> Five of Roses, the garden. It's also like it's a very similar to the Six of Cups. We have kids here. Those of you who want to have kids, this is your year. <laughs> Five of Roses, the garden. Two children play in a sunny, lush green garden. A boy shoots a slight shot while a girl next to him watches butterfly and the flowers with a magnifying glass. If children aren't a part of your life already, this card could show their arrival. It also could indicate that your children, even adult children, could, could become more of a focus for you. They may have some concerns of their own, but even so, opportunities for things to, for things to mend come easily right now. There also may be real change and benefit for one of your children who has made a special effort recently. This is a very adventurous time for the children around you. Enjoy it and help them enjoy it too. Okay, so this is a very specific message. It can only, only be relevant for those of your children. It's okay. What's your own sign? Uh, number 54 for the I Ching. Mm. We may, the marrying maiden. Okay, some of you are definitely getting married, having kids, the works. Above thunder, below lake. Thunder over the lake, standards of behavior. Oh, or, let's see. The young couple who dwells in the family home is subordinate to the rules and values of their elders. Oh, this really connects. The enforcement of standards of behavior may create a disturbance like thunder stirring the surface of a lake. Such standards are present throughout society. To dwell in harmony with one's fellows, one must ascertain what is acceptable and what is not. Gentleness and tact will serve all parties better than crashing conflicts. Okay. Hi again. So, 2019 for Secret 13th. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it because I like it. A lot of balancing between um, the different aspects of us, between our yin and our yang, between our inner world and our outer world, between the will of our um, self, of our character, and between the will of our higher self, of our soul, between what we want to do in our private life and between society. We are growing up. We are growing up as humans. We are growing up as souls. It's an intense process. But it's going to be really, really worth it. Febu? That's some legacy stuff. That's some money stuff. That's some union stuff. And yeah, there's with the I Ching message is the understanding of how we connect our personal life with the needs of society. That's maturity. Children all around us, how we give what we've learned and what we have attained from our childhood to our future generations. Dear Seeker 13, if this has resonated with you or if you liked it, please let me know in the comments. Of course, this is this doesn't have to resonate with you. I just really wanted you to see an example of what I'm giving you on Vimeo. So you'll find 12 videos like this over there. It will be shorter because I will skip all the presentation at the beginning and the explanation. And I won't do the mixing in front of you. I will mix the cards. Um, I will pre-shuffle. Please trust me to know how to do that and know that I'm loyal to the process. And we will unveil them together. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Um, go back to it every month. 
have it in your folder in your laptop. Download it and just come back to it. And let me know what you guys think below in the comment. Once again, link to all that will be below to all your yearlies. Um, link to booking a private session with me will also be below. Um, I will do the um, general reads for January and be extended for January later on in the month. But for now you have this. I am grateful for you and thankful that you return to my channel. If you're new, press the subscribe button and join, you know, the existential shift. Um, happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And that's it. Love you much.